Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Norell, and today I want to welcome you to the celebration of Foragen's $100,000 matching campaign. We're going to be drinking some barefoot, bubbly, pink sparkling Moscato today for this celebration while I make some announcements. So give me a second because I don't know how to open this thing without hopefully killing myself. But um, yeah, so it's some big, big news. Oh, here it goes. Give me a second. Before I, uh, ah, oh shit. How do I, what do I do now? I don't know what I'm doing, in case you can't tell. Oh, there we go. You can tell because it's fizzy. That's how you know it's champagne, besides the explosion. So, it's New Year's Eve. And what a great way to start up the new year. Um, Foragen. The reason I actually wanted to make this video today is because I was hoping to push, help push Foragen toward its goal. And uh, so I was planning on making this video for a few days. I got trapped in Fargo visiting family. Um, so I'm making this video pretty late to try to help push the goal forward. I don't know if you can see this here. Um, but $100,000 goal, it's not really showing up very well. There it is. $100,000 goal. And it is 149925 that has already been raised. So join me in pushing this goal up to 150000 because why not? Nice round number. $75 would put it right at $250,000 raised. In fact, I will commit right now to adding that $75 myself. I'm sure someone else will. I don't know if this is even updated live anyways. But the um, <laughs> point is, we made it, guys and girls. I assume there are some girls who care about this too. Those lovely partners, daughters, mothers of men who have been genitally mutilated. So a couple other announcements on Foragen as well. Last year, or sorry, last month was the largest donation month we've had by far. It was nearly $200,000 that we raised in one month. And when I say we, I mean Foragen. I'm not actually <laughs> involved in Foragen at the moment because I've had to take a break from attacktivism and all things foreskin related for my mental health. <laughs> um, but anyways, <laughs> Foragen raised $200,000 last, I want to say last semester because I'm so in the school grind right now that that's all I can think about. But last month, Forge and raise two hundred thousand, uh, with matching one hundred thousand plus one hundred fifty thousand, we will raise over or at least two hundred fifty thousand this month with those combined. Um, and that matching campaign was initiated by Forge's executive uh, coaches. Um, do they share their names? I don't want to burst the bubble if they're trying to be secret. Give me a second. I should know this, but I don't. Um, how public they are. Give me one second. <laughs> do they tell us their names? Yes, they do. Adam and Shingo Levine of Emerald Ventures. They're incredible people. Adam and Shingo are also suing the AAP right now. Uh, I believe they're still in the process of suing the AAP for Shingo's circumcision, which they took the AAP's advice when they um, had him circumcised, and so they are suing them. Father-son team. How cool is that? Anyways, um, huge donation, huge thanks to Adam and Shingo, uh, huge thanks to everyone who has donated to this campaign, and last month as well, there were a few giant crypto donations and um, yeah, it's just so exciting. And the biggest, most exciting news of all that I will also note is that, um, and I will also post a link to to this campaign in case you still want to donate and you are still welcome to and encouraged to. We could always use more for future projects. And um, and where was it going with that? And yeah, and what's even more exciting, and I'll post this as well below, is that. Foragen is now going to move forward with clinical trials. As far as we know at this point, we st we've only completed the first phase of animal trials. They have been successful. Um, 
and the second phase we are now going to move forward with and we are at this point planning on then going forward with uh, human clinical trials um, again it kind of we have to finish the second phase of animal trials first but then those will be tentatively scheduled I believe the date is April 2022 and I will post the announcements for all of that below in the description of this video so that's all I really wanted to share today um, exciting shit um, pretty exciting uh, progress toward regenerating the human foreskin for men who are genitally altered <laughs> without their consent or with their consent without knowing exactly what they're going to lose and um, who want to reverse that so this is delicious um, I usually go for pretty dry this is like literally as sweet as it can be this is the sweetness scale it's right here <laughs> Uh, you can see this. This is terrible. Does not get in focus very effectively. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So good news. Yeah, I've been um, just a little update on me, I guess. I've been. Um, I had my organization, Intact Community, that I was trying to run, as well as the show, Intact Radio, that I was doing every week. And I was running Foragen's uh, intact, or uh, sorry, community action group, Foragen community action group. I was participating in, participating in monthly calls with the International Coalition um, to end sexual sexual mutilation, uh, aka the bodyguards and other things. Um, so it was all too much. Maybe I just took on too much. Maybe I wasn't focusing on what I needed to be focusing on or protecting my mental health. Whatever the case may be, I was extremely burned out and and not doing well, and I had to take a break so that I didn't kill myself again. <laughs> not that I killed myself before, but <laughs> so that I, uh, again, so that I would prevent that from happening as has happened in the past. I should have probably learned my mess lesson the first time. But yeah, so focusing on school right now, pursuing a Master of Social Work degree with a uh, focus, a concentration in social change and innovation. I may change that major to social entrepreneurship, which is a little bit more geared towards starting your own organization versus kind of more joining a new organization, kind of working within the system rather than creating a new system, which is social entrepreneurship. So I may be switching to that major um, and pursuing a Master of Social Entrepreneurship or Master of Social Innovation. Um, but yeah, enjoying it a lot. Top tier school in California as um, what else in the cultural capital of the world? Los Angeles, University of Southern California. Um, you could argue that Paris is the cultural capital of the world, but I guess it just depends on your tastes, as does all culture. So, mm. um, what else? I wrote a book, another book. <laughs> I still haven't released my first one on healing circumstances and trauma. I need to edit that still. And I will do that soon. I've been meditating an insane amount and doing an insane amount of healing work so that I can continue doing some capacity of intactivism. Most likely will be mostly on the healing side, maybe forever, at least for a very long time, uh, helping other men heal their trauma, as I, ha I am able to do when I focus on it. Um, I don't know if most men are able to actually heal that trauma. I think the best most men do is to repress it. They don't realize that it's possible to not hate being alive. Um, but it is, I think, for everyone. It does take some skill in knowing how to navigate that psychological landscape of genital mutilation, trauma, and grief, which is quite uh, severe. Check out circumcision grief reddit if you don't believe me or if you haven't experienced it yourself 
which I think much of my audience has. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about all I'm doing right now. Um, oh, I wrote another book, kind of uh, focused on other things, but um, I needed a break. I needed a little break from attacktivism, so I wrote a book on ways to save the world, which is on the top strategies to prevent the world from destroying itself through nuclear holocaust, uh, climate catastrophe, artificial intelligence, Armageddon, Armageddon <laughs> or other things. There's a lot of ways <laughs> that we could potentially destroy the world within the next few centuries. So, it's a book about how to not do that. Which, you know, is kind of a precursor to um, any other form of good you want to achieve. <laughs> so, that's the thing. What else? That's it. That's about all I've got. Yeah, I'm a pretty, pretty lonely hermit in my room here. Um, sit here and meditate and write books and think about foreskin and <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah hope all of you out there are doing well uh, please do consider contributing to this campaign if you have some money to spare we are doing another study on histology uh, Foragen is doing another study on histology to show the um, harm that circumcision does by showing exactly what the foreskin is in, in a great granular level of detail. Really showing uh, exactly what that um, tissue is, you know, what the at a very fine grain level. So that study is also extremely exciting and going to really, I think, help the intactivist cause a lot because we haven't had original research on this in uh, 30 years? It's, it's insane. It's like, there hasn't been... No one's really looking at the foreskin right now. No one cares, <laughs> apparently. In the scientific world, it's, it's kind of actually insane um, that a tiny, teeny tiny, private, small company for who uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars is a massive fucking deal. There are, there are charitable organizations who raise millions and millions and tens and hundreds of millions of dollars, and it's like, ah, that's just like a normal year. <laughs> Um, so, but every step forward is a step forward and we are continuing to accelerate. I'm actually shocked personally. I'm like, wow, we're do we were doing so well when I joined like, Jesus, uh, f four years ago is when I first went, started working with Foragen. I thought we were like ramping it up then, but like it's gone even like crazy since then, especially right now. So yeah, bravo, and uh, check out the articles below, um, comment um, if you want to, and I always love to hear from you all, and that's it, I will talk, oh, and I am off to go review a top secret book that I cannot say anything else about because I've signed a non-disclosure agreement. I can tell you that I named the book. The book was, was uh, the name was come up with by me, and it's going to change everything. Everything. <laughs> so be on the lookout. You will see it. Um, I didn't write the book. A friend of mine did, and it's going to be good. So I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.